she's single by the time I'm outside. You guys will see. I'm, I'm a man of little words. You see action. You see one person. Are you okay? She's a fine girl now. I, I have not seen that. <laughs> I just saw she walked out to the gym. Oh, you already know she was walking out. I said, don't worry. Damn, she is. Bro. Well, they're actually married. I don't I, see a couple like green green couple my maybe I told you I'm not stupid now what? I know I know I'm not stupid what yeah everybody in this house is lying <laughs> <laughs> everybody is just living in one just big life you're married follow me when I tell you something say people I know stupid. wait bro they're married I'm not looking at the dynamic now. now. I could tell now. You know, I kind of sense it. Wow, this year. He's been for 10 years, apparently. <laughs> 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 so it's a very long relationship. Oh my uh, god. Oh, oh my shit. God. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Because I was suspecting. It's I crazy. was really drilling and asking her those questions. And the way she was answering, ah, no more words. I'm on to the next one, bro. Yeah. I know you're hurt. I know you're hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> I know you're hurt. Why are you so happy? <laughs> Guys, may your fresh and to be forged reaction when Ebuka told them that Kelly Ray and Cassie are truly married was so, so funny. In fact, it was even how to be forged was saying that by the time she gets out and she is single, that he is not a man of many ways, that we will see, we will see. And Ebuka told him that they are truly married. In fact, it was even how Ebuka crossed his leg to tell them that they have been dating for 10 years and they are truly married. <laughs> to be quite frank, to be forged reaction is the most funniest, craziest. And in fact, if you look at Mayor Froch's face, his facial expression, he was just like, what? What? Like, every guy has been telling other evicted housemates that Galire and Cassia, they are truly married. Their surprise reaction is also funny, but you see that of Toby Froch. Frankly speaking, it is the most goated of them all. Like, the way he was shouting, I'm not stupid. I told you that. I told you now. I was just like, oh, gosh, shut up. Shush. What did you tell him? What did you tell him? So you want to tell us that you knew that uh, she's someone wife and you are all over her. You are suspecting what? Okay, go and sit. <laughs> but frankly speaking, I actually love and love and love and love their reaction. And it was even how Ebuka was acting as though his moment had finally come to deliver this special precious and long-awaited news that he has been harboring in his heart for so long. Guys, I think Ebuka's reaction, why, you know, passing that gist, ah, I <laughs> the way he would cross his leg, guys, that was the most funniest of them all. And to be quite frank with all of you guys, I think so before I made your first reaction is the most epic of them all. Most especially, the way Toby Forge was finding it difficult to believe and at the same time, he was, you know, still saying, I know it, I said it, guys, I think that is so, so, as it, it was so, so funny, Sha. Away from that, guys, let's quickly get right into the gist of this particular video. But before then, let me officially welcome all of you guys to my channel. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed, kindly do where to subscribe to this channel. Click on the notification bell button. Do not forget to like and share this video with your friends and loved ones that likes Big Brother gist. Honestly speaking, it have come to my notice that Sean and Victoria will not be leaving each other's neck anytime soon because of their perception of the game and the way they look at the game holistically. And the fact that they don't often sit down to talk about how they are going to play their game in that house. Like, it is as though the only time they come together, it is any time Big Brother want them to do anything together or to come to the diary room together. If not, my good people of God, they will not come together, you know, to sit down and plan and think how they want to do their thing so that, you know, there will not be any form of misunderstanding or disagreement. At the end of the day, to be quite frank with all of you guys, now I have finally understood Sean. Like Sean have a very clear idea of how Big Brother Niger game work and he is playing his game according to his knowledge of the game. Meanwhile, 
Victoria is just playing the game as a novice. According to Sean understanding, like as far as Sean is concerned, Victoria is playing her game as a novice. That is the reason, you know, they are always clashing. So just take a pretty look at what happened during the live nomination process. When Shatoria were called into the diary room to put up a housemate, they want to see up for possible eviction. Shatoria went into the room. Just take a pretty look at how they nominated. Pick, um, better. So Big Brother asked them the people they want to see up for possible eviction. Sean picked Zimwe and Victoria picked Better. And Big Brother asked them to confirm their nomination. And Sean said Zimwe again. Victoria said Better. And if you see Sean countenance as at that moment, he was not just happy, he was disappointed. He was just like, uh -uh, what is this guy doing again? In fact, he was murmuring Radhika. He wanted, you know, Victoria to put Radhika, but Victoria insisted on her decision. Then, immediately after the life nomination process and everything, we now saw them at the garden having a conversation. During this conversation, Sean was now asking Victoria why she didn't put up Radhika, that it is Radhika that she would have put up now. Then, he was now explaining his reason why he wanted Victoria to put up Radhika. According to him, he said the reason he wanted her to put up Radhika for possible eviction is because Radhika have been up for possible eviction several times that the people they are supposed to put off for possible eviction are the people that they are stronger than not the people that they don't know how strong they are that what uh, victoria should have done was to put up radicals because if they have put up radicals and if by any chance they were up for possible eviction they will know that those people are the ones that will be going home instead of them and guys when sean said that i was kind of confused at some point because i was just like Better, I thought they were in bottom four last Sunday. Like, what is Sean even talking about? Like, guys, the thing really got me a kind of confused. Because Sean saying that um, Victoria would have put people that are in bottom four, people that um, she knows that if they are up against, those people will be going home. Better, they have tested bottom four and they themselves, they have not tested bottom four. So what is he even actually talking about? In fact, last Sunday, um, Zingwe, they were not even at the bottom four, but he put them up. Why didn't he choose radicals instead of the guys like, I'm just like, ah, it may seem as though Sean and Victoria, they are not going to, you know, be leaving each other's neck anytime soon because in Sean's mind, Victoria is playing her game as a novice. And in Victoria's mind, honestly, like him, she putting up better. I think it was also a nice decision because um, better, they were in bottom four on Sunday. But ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts in all of this? Because Omo, um, it be like say, Sean and Victoria, they are dynamic in that house. You know, just clear. And, so, and I really think that they need to be sitting down to have a conversation about how they are going to play their game. But I think, you know, Wani will not allow that. There was even something that happened between Wani, Sean, and Victoria last night. In fact, Sean even told Wani to go and explain herself to Victoria. I'm just like, ah. Okay. Well, in our next video, we are going to be talking about all of that. At this juncture, we'll be calling it a day. Thanks for watching to this point.